This is Google Recapture V2. And Google says that it is easy for humans to solve, but hard for bots to figure out. Yeah, if I can make my own image capture solver, then people who make malicious software that have way more time than me definitely can. First off, I need a database. I need all the possible images which can show up on the capture. Here are the most popular ones. And this is my data set. Nearly 12,000 images containing everything I need. I quickly cleaned up the data because some of the images were incorrectly labeled, some were way too blurry, and some were just trash. From my short tests, an uncleaned dataset yielded a 77% accuracy and a fixed up dataset 85%. To make my machine learning model, I'm using the ML.NET package, which is a powerful machine learning framework built specifically for .NET. It allows you to train, evaluate and use your models really quickly. And I don't have much time, so this is the perfect option. I quickly set up a model inside the ML.NET model builder and gave it my data. The training took only about 15 minutes and my model scored an accuracy of 80%. So I fixed some stuff and rerun it two times. And I reached 85% accuracy, which is a pretty good score for something as hard as an image capture. Google doesn't make it easy for us because a lot of the images are blurred or hard for us to read. However, accuracy scores on training data don't exactly match real life's results. So let's get testing on actual captures. But before I can do that, I have to make a user interface. I need a screenshot maker form to select the capture. And I need the actual solver form with all the buttons and data. We can move on to actually using the program properly. But first, here's a one minute rundown of how my program works. First off, I take an image of the capture and then I divide it into nine separate images each to check. I use this code that splits the image equally Next, for each image, I run it through my machine learning model using this code, pretty simple. And then I will display all the data on my user interface I just made. But here I have the labels for each image. I also have a select capture button, solve capture button. I also have some labels with some information. Here is my code for the screenshot form. When I start selecting, it updates the selection. When I stop selecting, it saves the image. And then it just draws a red box all around it. Pretty simple, but I did need some help. Time's up. Let's start testing to get some kind of data. So here I have my capture and my program. Let's just type in bicycles. Then let's select the capture. Now my form doesn't update the data, I'll just have all the data in the console and first I have to check it and then I'll just make some code to update the form. So let's continue. And I got an error. Let's try again. So here you can see, um, I'll just check each image and it seems to be mostly correct. Yeah, after this I finally wrote the code for the form to update based on the predictions. Now let's try another capture. Let me select it. And now when I click solve, it should update the user interface and we can see that apart from that boat, it did select correctly. And we have crosswalks, so let's select the capture again. 
and this time it's nearly correct it didn't hit the one with the bus i could do some corrections where i also look at the percentage now let's try again this time we've got cars if i select the capture and click solve i appear to have everything correct so that's good and finally another easy one hydrants these are very easy so i think it should be right and of course everything's fine you have all three hydrants so good job so does this prove that google captures are useless well not exactly my model worked to detect the images but you must remember that google has extra security measures like mouse movement tracking and ip analysis so this isn't a certain bypass that being said if i could do this in my free time imagine what someone with real resources can do they probably could work around those measures. Let me know in the comments what I should try to make next.